This is Santa Barbara wine country, a beautiful area producing world-class wines. Many picturesque wineries are open to visitors here, but one offbeat destination is also making a name for itself. It's gritty, it's industrial, and it's redefining what wine country means. There's a wine buzz about the Lompoc Wine Ghetto, a great place to see the other side of Santa Barbara winemaking. On the corner of 12th and Industrial Way in the quiet town of Lompoc, California, you'll find an unremarkable looking industrial park with a remarkable story. More than 20 wineries make their home here. And this is the new tank we're doing of the new wine. They're small producers. I'm going to start the pump now. Who can't afford fancy wine country locations. Producers like Norm Yost from Flying Goat Cellars. This is a mobile bottling service out of San Luis Obispo that comes into our winery and bottles our wine. They have all the equipment on the truck. That's great. Yeah. So you don't actually have to have a bottling facility. It'll come to you. Right, right. Norm and the other wineries have joined forces in this nondescript industrial park nicknamed the Lompoc Wine Ghetto. We share equipment, you know, which is nice. It's rather unusual. It, you know, it's very cooperative. So did you catch a bad one for Norm? No. Mm -hmm. We do that all the time. That's why I keep an eye on it. Because sometimes even the guys miss it. But wait a minute. He's flying goat. You're Huber and you're you're helping him well, catch. He's doing the same thing for me when I when we bottle mine next. Many of the wineries here in the ghetto will let you come check out their facilities by appointment, but a couple like Fiddlehead here actually have tasting rooms you can visit. We reserve a couple of special barrels that really are kind of the highlight of the vintage. Everything pulls together as being extraordinary, and we call that wine Lollapalooza. <laughs> At Fiddlehead Cellars, we taste and taste and taste and taste. Kathy Joseph's behind the bar. The great thing about coming to the ghetto was it was very easy to set up shop here. The building was pre-existing, and I was able to customize it to what my needs were as a Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Noir producer. <laughs> you want to be part of the ghetto. Just a few steps away, this is the first crop off of a vineyard called Honey Vineyard. Crystal Clifton presents her Palmina wines. She buys grapes from nearby growers and trucks them in to make the wine. People have gotten used to this vision of a vineyard and a very large facility. And people ask us constantly, like, well, where, where are your vineyards and where is your winery? And Steve and I smile because we're a small family run winery and our money we'd rather put in making great wine. A quick tour of the Lompoc Wine Ghetto shows industrious folks can make even an industrial park their wine country home. Okay, pups off. <laughs> 